what's up YouTube this is Gotets here in today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys my very first Photoshop tutorial so once you finally load into Photoshop the first thing you're going to want to do is open an in-game screenshot at the resolution of 1280 times 720 and by the way this tutorial is going to be focused towards GTA thumbnails since too many people are just focusing on Call of Duty or real life thumbnails I thought I'd make a tutorial that is sort of geared towards GTA thumbnails so anyway I'm going to want to open this screenshot, and once you get your screenshot open, there are a few things I like to do to make the image look a lot cleaner and more professional. So, you're going to want to go into settings right here, and the first thing I like to do is enable inner glow. Since you guys are going to see in a second, this does make it look really cool, like a border effect sort of. So, I'm going to try to explain this as slowly as I can so you guys understand this for people who are like new at Photoshop and stuff. So I'm going to go into blend mode and change the setting to overlay and I'm going to turn the opacity up to 100% and you're also going to need to turn the range down to 1 and as you guys see it's a little bit too small right now so you got to turn the size up to about 10 for it to stand out and as you guys see this sort of has like a transparent effect on it like a transparent border it sort of brings a border has brings more light to it I really like the way this effect looks and that's why I use it so the other effect I like to use is gradient overlay and as you guys see this is already preset for me but you're just going to change the blend mode to normal you're going to want to set the opacity to 50% and you're going to want to use this gradient right here which is sort of a preset gradient on Photoshop CC 2015 so anyway I like the way this looks it's not too overbearing it just has sort of like a minimalist effect it sort of like brings some color into the image and you can change it to whatever color you, you want right here if you don't want it to be blue but blue is my favorite color to do this on so once that's done you're just gonna press ok and now here's time to apply the GTA Online stamp so you just want to go in your files and find wherever you saved it if you don't have this image on your computer you can easily find it on Google Images Images you're just gonna want to make sure you have a transparent version of this image since that's the only one that really like works with it and once you find it you're just going to bring it into Photoshop like this and as you guys see it's way too big so we're gonna make it a little bit smaller the GTA Online stamp doesn't really look that good if it's too big and my favorite place to put it is in the top right corner but you guys can put it wherever you please so once it's in the place I like which is about right here you go on and go back into settings and you're gonna you're gonna want to apply a drop shadow and as you guys see, it sort of like brings it out a little bit more. Like, see, when I disable it, it doesn't really stand out as much. But when I have that little drop shadow behind it, I think it does look really cool. And you wanna wanna have the blend mode to normal again, the opacity at around 50%, and just press OK. And now here's the fun part. We're gonna do text. So there is a lot of options when you do text. Like, you don't have to do what I do, but I do recommend you do put it in the top left corner like I do. As you guys are going to see in a second, I like to usually put it right here. And I usually like to use an adjective when doing this. And as you guys see, the spacing is sort of messed up. So I'm also going to be showing you guys how to fix the spacing if you don't like it. So how to get in this menu right here is you're just wanting to press Control T on your keyboard. And as you guys see, this little option where I have my mouse over right now is the spacing option. And you can set it to 5 to 10 to like 200 if you want to. But I like it when the text is close together. So I'm just going to keep it at 5 and press OK and de-highlight it. And now this does look a lot better. So now what you're going to want to do is resize this text. I'm using American Captain by the way. But you can use whatever text you want. Because the more unique font you use the better your thumbnail looks. So a really cool trick I use to resize text is highlight the whatever word you want to highlight and also highlight this up here whatever size it is and you can just scroll on your mouse and make it as big as you want but you do have to keep your mouse in the little white box for this to be able to work and for this one I'm gonna set it to 125 even though it looks a little bit large like once you put it all the way over here it's not really even that big and you're gonna want to sort of keep it away from the border just a tiny bit because you guys are gonna see in a second and once you're done with that you're gonna want to go back into settings and First, I'm going to do the gradient overlay, and as you guys see, it's still stuck on this. This doesn't look good at all. So before you even change the gradient, turn the opacity back to 100% because that makes it look the best. And you're going to want to use this preset gradient right here. This is one of my favorite preset gradients. I just think it looks so good with like the orange, yellow, and everything. And you guys are thinking, hmm, this doesn't really look that good. But if you put a drop shadow on it, that's actually correct. Like, hold on, I'm going to fix this drop shadow right here. 
You're going to want to turn the size of the drop shadow just down to about here. And turn the spread up a little bit. Oh, and also, if you don't have the opacity up, that's a common mistake. Have the opacity 100% for the drop shadow to look the best. And you're going to want to just make it as big as you want to. And spread it out as much as you want to, too. So, you just got to sort of do some adjusting on this. Do what you think looks good. And as you guys see, now that I'm done with this, the... The orange and the yellow with the drop shadow on the back looks so much better than it did before just without the drop shadow. So this is pretty much it. Once you're done with this, you're just going to want to save your thumbnail as a file. I'm going to do a double bump screenshot just like thumbnail. I usually like to capitalize thumbnail so I know which a thumbnail I need to upload for one of my videos. And if you're wondering, this is actually a scrapped episode of GTA 5 Stunt Challenge. I'm recording for this, so... I actually, what happened in this is I wasn't actually able to hit the stunt, that's why I couldn't do the episode. And once you're done saving it, you're just going to export it. And quick export as PNG is my favorite. Do it as the same name as you saved your file as and oak save. And once you've saved it, you're done. And I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video since it does help a lot. And also, be sure to subscribe to my channel for daily GTA 5 content and some other useful videos like this one. Until next time, this is Godetsu. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Godetsu out.